Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive, Aptera Motors co-founder and co-CEO Steve Fambro. Uh, Steve, we understand the last number we had was 50,000 pre-orders for the launch edition model. Is that is that a fair number or is it raised? No, that's right, Liz. I mean, it might be a little bit above there, around there. I don't know the exact number, but it's about $2 billion worth of product uh, that we're excited to build and ship to our customers. Who is your target customer? We have a mix of about four different archetypes. So there's people that are in it for the environment. There's people that are in it because it's cool technology. Um, there's people that are in it just to be seen and have something that's unique. Uh, so we, we really have a mix of customers. Okay, so it's three-wheeled. It, it's certainly eye-catching if it goes down the, the, the regular roads, which it is approved for, correct? Can it go on the freeway? How fast does it go? That's right. Oh, I mean, it, it's fast enough to lose your license uh, over 100 <laughs> miles an hour. Um, and it does the freeway just fine. You know, I did a, a road trip earlier this year from Flagstaff uh, back to California, and it did great. Uh, and, and it's really, it's not a car for introverts because you are going to get seen. People are going to come to you. They're going to come up to you and talk to you and ask you questions about it. When can we expect to see the launch edition on the road? Well, once we have all of our funding in place, uh, we've always said uh, pretty, pretty consistently about nine to 12 months uh, from when that funding is in place, and, and that's being worked on right now. Okay, so let me just, we've got on the screen, it, it, it does up to 40 miles of free solar power driving, but then it can go 400 miles on a range with a full charge, correct? But what that's right, if, that's right. So, so it can flip over if there isn't a sunny day? That is always the issue with solar power, is it not? Well, uh, if there's not a sunny day, then it would just be like a regular EV with extraordinary range and performance and efficiency, right? Uh, but if it is sunny, it means that you just don't have to plug it in if you're driving less than 40 miles a day. So cloudy areas, uh, places like Seattle, maybe you plug it in once every couple of weeks, you know, something like that. Uh, but the bottom line is that it charges very quickly, even from your home socket, you don't need a charger, you just plug a cable in the wall and you can charge over 150 miles overnight. So it's super efficient because it's got a it's got a small battery, charges quickly. Your your stock is actually moving up quickly. Uh, we do have a motivated investor audience who watch, and they love specifically on this show. They love disruptive technology. My question to you is, you know, there are a lot of other trikes, I guess, out there. These auto cycles, Polaris has one. Um, some of them are not electric and certainly not solar powered. But how do you beat? all of the competitors that are out there right now? It's a great question. It's a simple answer. We're the only solar electric vehicle on the market, right? So you've got four-wheel uh, electric vehicles. You've got gasoline trikes. You've got all kinds of products. We're the only solar electric vehicle that, that you can buy right now, um, or at least make a reservation for. Uh, we believe every journey should be powered by the sun. That's what drives our focus, our engineering, our IP portfolio. And so I would say that's the differentiation is that we're the only ones in that business. I remember when Elon Musk, back many years ago, we went out there to Fremont, California, and this was a company that was circled by short sellers, and they were trying to beat him down simply because he was trying to create a new company. This always really bothered me. I mean, people, we love our short sellers, but as well as our, our folks who are along the market, but it always annoyed me that there are people out there who want to kick a new sort of technology, how do you plan to go up against people like that if there are out there on Wall Street trying to you know, bring you down when you're just trying to come up with a product that does really well? You know, I, I can't speculate on um, whether or not uh, people are doing that or even how to respond. All we can do is, you know, hit our milestones to, and deliver product. I think um, just like our one of our new board members, Tony, said, once the first one of these pulls in someone's driveway in a neighborhood, it's going to sell two or three more just by people seeing and seeing that it's real. So I think the, I think the best thing we can do to combat that is just a deliver product, deliver a quality product that works and delivers on the promise uh, that we've made. But we've got to talk about uh, the price of these things. I can hear viewers saying, how much does it cost? They're not cheap. Let's talk about the prices. Well, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, a 40, 000, roughly $40,000 price uh, for this first vehicle. And uh, while some people may say that um, you know, there's all kinds of other vehicles that maybe cost less or more than that, this electric, there's none of them that charge themselves, right? So there's a value in not having to plug it in. 
Compared to gas car, there's also a value in gasoline savings. You know, you're looking at several thousand, maybe five thousand dollars a year in gasoline savings if you're going from a gasoline car to a vehicle like Aptera. So all of that has to be taken into account. Okay, so we're talking about uh, thirty-five thousand dollars, and it goes up to about forty-five thousand, right? That's about right. Steve, um, your stock is uh, up about 22% at the moment. Uh, so there are people who are interested in this technology and they are believers in it. So thanks very much for coming on and we'll continue to follow the story. Hey, my pleasure. We should do this call every day then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we got a little bit of a government shutdown going on, Steve. So we have other news, but I'll, I'll keep it in mind.